Hello all. Well, on a very cold morning here in San Francisco, California, we're going to go up and show you why overpopulation is so important not to do here on the planet Earth and why it's going to be causing so much trouble. Let's go up here and do a video. Food insecurity rockets, experts warn. So what the experts are telling us is that we're running out of food around the planet. Let's go through some of the details. People are paying more for food in the su supermarkets all over the world. It is costing farmers more to provide it. Experts say humanity is not even close to paying the true price of producing food. Subsidizing food production globally by more than $3 trillion per year is what's happening. That's the only reason we can afford to pay for it now. The reason it's going up, fertilizer costs and other equipment costs such as equipment repair and gasoline and diesel costs are skyrocketing. Recent food crisis associated with war and how natural disasters show how vulnerable food systems are to shock. Already 819 million people are going to bed hungry every day. 345 million people are in acute food insecurity. They need food assistance every day. Now, about the shortages. Let's, uh, let's talk about just the shortages here in the U.S. Meat shortages are coming to the U.S. The drought is causing it. Let's look at the drought map and you can see why. There's not much in the way of growing food for cattle and where cattle graze is all grazed out. And so it's costing so much more for meat. You're going to probably be paying over $50 a pound for hamburger shortly. Food shortages in, in the U.S. Red winter wheat, very short. Rice harvest in California will be half of what it normally is. Low tomato harvest, low corn harvest, that's sweet corn and regular corn and feed corn. Low carrot harvest, low sweet potato harvest. And that's just part of the list. There was something like 15 items on the list that were uh, short. And uh, it's just gonna get worse and worse. So you're telling me the population doesn't make a difference, but every mouth that, that has to be fed has to be fed with food. And when food shortages come, you're gonna wish you didn't have as many humans on the planet as we do. We're almost 8 billion people now and expanding more and more every day. If people were smart, they would learn to adopt. And that way you wouldn't be bringing any more children onto, the, onto a very hungry planet. Food shortages are expected to get acute by 2023. It's so important to listen to what nature tells us, but we don't listen to it at all. We refuse to listen. So we will reap the consequences and for those that are looking forward to the end times, you're not going to be liking the end times if you get hungry easily because food shortages will be all over the world by 2023. The people in the U.S. and other countries will have to pay dearly for that cost. Now, how long will nations around the world be able to subsidize food is another question. It depends on what party gets in. If the right-wing parties get in, you're not going to have much subsidies at all. So just know that. So I appreciate any comments on this subject, all your ups, and your new subscribers. And until next time.